What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm C. I'm P. And today we're going to be reacting to Tom McDonald. The, the rappers. Guys, I first have to say that um, thank you for the support. Um, last time we did, what was the one we did? We did Fake Woke. Yeah, Fake Woke and you guys came up with your support. And we're like over, channel. yeah, we have like over 100 comments and we are you know? this close to getting monetized thanks to you guys so yeah we're, thank we're you close to being a thousand subscribers you guys really came through with the subscriptions with the views with the comments over one of your comments and guys you yes asked for us to do another one so here we, we are. don't we're gonna do all of them because you mm -hmm. know we we probably fell in love with them in the first video it, it, mm -hmm. it looks like we like and even like more him. so after hearing you guys tell us more info about him yeah giving us background story that we didn't even know about just from that alone made us love him even more so we are if we weren't fans before with that first video we are definitely fans now um so we're gonna dive in we're gonna listen to it once just to hear it and get our actual reactions yeah because i want to listen to it um all the way first then go back and do like a breakdown of the lyrics yeah so, cause I'm gonna get it, get it all in one, one go. Yeah. And one more thing I want to say is that, um, you guys want us to react to all the um music videos in order. So, if some of you guys can put like a list of all the videos in order for us, that make it a lot easier for us, cause we're yes. not. It's very hard to for us to figure out what's in order. Because you guys are giving us recommendations, but then we go to his channel and like it's not the same order. I'm guessing so. Just. If you guys can put like a list of, and of the order of the songs that you want us to react to first and we'll, we'll get to them, we'll just go one, one by one, yep. we'll get to them. Alright, you ready? Let's do it. Let's begin. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped. I spent everything I had and I never had a lot. Oh my God, what a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk listen to your music till I felt it in my chest but these days it's like you don't have nothing left your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check everything is digital I mean no disrespect but I'm paying even more and you give me even less what the fuck you taught me to think you taught me to grow you taught me the things to survive on my own but now you teach me to drink you teach me to smoke you teach me to think every woman's a hoe Money in my face and try to tell me that it's art No, 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 no No, 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 no. Yeah. Just a drug addict TV. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking what you drink and what you spend and what you drive Fact. Rappers full of bullshit Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy Rap about a full clip Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die mm -hmm. Yeah Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me, cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy If I'm really being honest, all this shit is overwhelming I need someone to look up to Hey. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump You're living in a country where police are killing people every day And all you want to talk about is doing drugs You've been hey. blinded by the money, you've been blinded by the cars You've been blinded by the women, don't know who the fuck you are Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show And now mm. I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke Man, you taught us how to rap and you taught us how to dress And you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them I inside the hood your Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art No, 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 no No, 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 no. Just a drug addict on TV. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars so what I want to say is I like his choruses. They're like they're mm -hmm. so like simple, but like you know, very it, like it gets you powerful. in the mood. Yeah. He this song reminds me of like a little bit of like Eminem when he first started out, mixed with like Hobson. Just 
drug addict on TV. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the end, guys. We gotta go, go go back to the beginning. Oh my God! And yes. You wanna feel lyrics? <laughs> you gotta <have> lyrics out. <laughs> Alright, let's 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 bring this down, guys. Let's put this down. Yeah. Alright, let's begin. There's a lot. There's a lot. Let's Man, it's down. easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even wanna make my mouth go. I just wanna win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever fucking dropped. I spent everything I had and I never had a lot. Oh my God, what a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed. Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk. Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But these days it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything is digital. I mean no disrespect, but I'm paying even more and you give me even less. Right, let's start. Let's start right there. Yeah. Let's start right there. It's very true. Like, it, like I remember because I grew up with like older music because I used to listen to the music my sister used to listen to. So I'm talking about like old time rappers like Tupac and all that. And it was like those when rap was just coming out, it used to be so meaningful. They would spit bars but in a way where like you really felt it and like, like, like he's doing like he's doing exactly. like him really, and hobson and j cole they only told a story the, and you can understand like you can feel it you yeah know? and it related to what you were going through in your personal life almost like when you're in high school and a teenager and you have all these issues and you're always contemplating suicide or you contemplating if you should pick up the drink or the, yeah. or the drugs really like everybody powerful. else is doing because there's so much pressure in that age range. Those type of artists helped me out a lot to get away from that. And I know there's plenty of you guys out there that felt the same way. And now it feels so like there's nobody out there that are helping these kids that are probably going through the same stuff that we went through when we were in high school. What music are they listening to that's helping them get away from that age? Right, edge? because songs are really powerful, right? They can, they can either help you a lot or put you in the deep end, right? Mm -hmm. And he said that um, in the past, they used to do all that you talked about, you know, help you to stop, speak mm -hmm. boys, chew shit, right? But now, it's like they making songs just to get a check. Exactly. And I don't know if you noticed, but what I've heard that, like, they actually have, like, strategies. They know what kind of beats sell, what kind yeah. of songs sell, what kind of things you have to say, what's popping. So they go after what's popping, and they go after a strategy that helped the song sell. Mm -hmm. It's not even about, you know, bringing, um, giving a message anymore or trying to help or like really do it from the heart. Sometimes it's not even about like speaking about, anything that mm -hmm. makes sense. It's all about the beat. It, so it, they go it's, a, it's about, let's make a song that will get as, as many people listening as, as possible. That has a good beat that will make people exactly. dance. It doesn't really matter what we can say. But not saying. saying anything. We could be speaking gibberish. Exactly. And but people will still buy it and bump to it. Yeah. And saying it's hard, but like you, you're you not really saying any, anything. Exactly. You know what I mean? I think that's what I start talking about. And to me, I find it very sad because like I remember being in high school and having all those rush of emotions and having those peer pressure things and music being such a good outlet for me. Mm -hmm. And I know I wasn't alone because almost everybody I talked to had the same stuff going on. And now I think nowadays, what are the kids able to listen to? What is helping them get away from that edge? Actually, he, he, got, he, he touched on that. Let's continue. He was touching on that um, later on. It's going to. I what the fuck you talking about these days it's like you don't have nothing left your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check everything is digital i mean no disrespect but i'm paying even more and you give me even less what the fuck you taught me to think you taught me to grow you taught me the things to survive on my own but now you teach me to drink you teach me to smoke you teach me to think every woman's a hoe i don't want, I want to say something about that quick 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 i think the younger generation now they actually like the kids who are being born now they they coming up I think in one of the worst situations because hip hop and rap is, is like I think it's like one of the top genres of music right, mm -hmm. right now, right? And and if you're growing up in society where it's telling you like drink, smoke, disrespect you know, women. Exactly, go out there and, and, and like, you know, live like a dangerous life, 
But why? Just exactly. to, to look to be cool? Just like, it's oh, like, and like you said before, living that life doesn't get you to the success that they exactly. are Exactly. It just gets you dead. It or just like, gets you dead or, or depressed bum. or... Exactly. Or you're a bum in the streets. Yeah. Like you're doing drugs, you're drinking, you all that chasing women. That's not mm-hmm. going to make you it's successful. It's not going to help you. And like he said before, like we were t- talking about before, the older rap used to help you. They mo- used to make you want to get up every day and live your life. It taught you things about life. And um, it made you feel like you weren't alone in this world. And now it's like you're not being learned anything. You, you're you're feeling more alone than ever. You're drinking and smoking. I think, I think it makes to... it makes young people an- angry, especially towards women. Mm-hmm. When you say a woman is not is, is and shit, do this or that, do that right? Mm-hmm. That's the first thing, right? Then you teach the kids to like drink and do drugs that's not gonna lead them to to success or, or anything positive mm-hmm. you know what i mean especially nowadays with everything that's going on in the world with um women and on top of that with um the rap community singing songs like this mm-hmm. it's only making it so much more worse it's so much more complicated for the younger generation but when a weapon like this comes out you yeah. really like you really like feel it i think that's why um he has so so, so many fans yeah because uh, amongst all these Crap, if a weapon like this come out, you like, damn, this is refreshing. This is some yeah. real shit you're talking about. Let's continue. More and you give me even less, what the fuck? You taught me to think, you taught me to grow, you taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink, you teach me to smoke, you teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 no. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Mm. Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me, cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy If I'm really being honest, all this shit is overwhelming I need someone to look up to You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump Alright, like, he's going a lot like, got mm-hmm. things to say. I know I'm posing it a lot, but like I got things to say Okay, first of all, he, he's talking about um, for, Like for, foreign cars, right? Yeah How how the the rappers that, that are driving foreign cars and get it five houses and doing all, mm-hmm. all this they have the money to do that right, right now right yeah and you go you work like a walmart right mm-hmm. instead of saving money and investing you want you going and buying for mm-hmm. foreign cars that's gonna put what you in debt right mm-hmm. it's like we were saying before because of the fact that these people are rapping about the drugs the alcohol the foreign cars the women people think that they could do, if they do all these things, they'll get success like that. But that's not. But that's not comes. how they got success. They're doing those things now because. That's what sells. That's what sells. Yes. And and also he's talking about it's just a b- bunch of drug dealers. On, on TV. I was just about to mention that <laughs> how he says that the drug addicts on TV. Yeah, drug addicts, drug drug addicts, addicts what, on TV. Yeah. That's what they basically yeah. are. All these people that are selling you the alcohol, they show you the boxes, bottles of the Ciroc, the yep. Patron, and um, they're smoking. And, uh, weed and you see the clouds drug, smoke. drug addicts on, on TV man they and then you see these um, hoes twerking it, in their rat laps and all that it stuff it didn't sound good but if you really look at it there are actually a lot of drug addicts right mm-hmm. there's actually a lot, a lot of them drug addicts on TV and like 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 he said oh, like you're selling me all this stuff but it, it's just becoming too overwhelming and you're not really like, exactly so you're not really doing anything positive. Because I'm doing everything that you're selling me, and it's not making me be you. It's making me be a person that I no longer recognize. I think the reason a lot of them do drugs and have to use alcohol is because they get to a point in life where they have so much money, right? Mm-hmm. But then they realize, damn, this is not making me happy. A lot of people actually come out and, and, and said this. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, you get so much fame and money, you're like, this got to make me happy. Fair of money, right? Yeah. They get well, up a there. A lot of famous people, not just rappers, exactly. They get that. up there and they're like, "Damn, this is not making me happy." Mm-hmm. So they go to the things that's gonna, you know, mm-hmm. you know, alleviate that pain, which is drugs and and you know, mm-hmm. drinking and all that and stuff. To be honest, like I'm gonna bring up the Kardashians only because of this one <laughs> fact. Um, 
Kim Kardashian recently actually just said that. Mm. She said that uh, with all the fame that she got out of her life, she felt like something was always missing from her life. Mm -hmm. Like there was a happiness that wasn't there. Her kids filled it a little bit, but there was still something mm -hmm. missing. It wasn't until she started studying to be uh, to go into law school like her father that she felt like that whole... It gives her life meaning. You know? Yep. So like all that fame that gave her a little bit of happiness with temporary happiness, but it wasn't until she found meaning for mm -hmm. herself that she was able to do that. Because um, studies have been done that says like um, money only gives you happiness to a certain point. After mm -hmm. that... Getting more money doesn't leave you more happiness. Yeah, because after I you think, get out of that debt, after yeah, you exactly. buy that house that you need, after you help out your parents, now you're here, what's next? You have to find something that's meaningful to mm -hmm. do with your life. All right, let's continue. All to sell me, tell me, because drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. Mm. You're living mm. in a country that elected Donald Trump. That's You're living in to. a country mm. where police are killing people every day. And all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been hey. blinded by the money. You've been hey. blinded by the cars. You've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent $100 on a ticket to your show. And now I feel like you stole my fucking money. Yeah. And I'm broke, man. You taught us how to rap. And you taught us how to dress. And you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Well, yeah. what saying? First what of you... all, the about the thing about getting somebody to look up to oh, that, yeah. especially in the music industry, the movie industry, these are things that people are seeing every day in front of their face. Yeah, like I want to be that. I want to you know? be that. It's like it's like what um Candace Owens always preaches. You. It's, it's a great thing if you start it out as, um, I'm going to use the example of how she was talking about Cardi B. Oh, it's a great thing if you started out as a stripper and then you made it here. But now that you're here, you have to show these kids something that they could look up to mm -hmm. instead of just shaking your ass and having a, 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 an awesome pussy. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, there should be more actors, actresses, um... Um, musicians out there that are teaching people that um, things that they could actually do in life and there's so much going on in the world you should be rapping about that informing people getting people to speak and think instead of rapping or singing about um, drugs alcohol yeah. and bitches and, and at the end of the day like people can do whatever they want when I for, like I will never ever get to force people to do certain things yeah but you know at least have a you know I feel like though I feel like they get valued you, by the money. You, like if you get a certain point, you're like, hey, how can I make the most mm -hmm. money possible? I think that's the mindset that, that they're at. But I also feel like when you get to a certain point of fame and money, you kind of have, and and when you're so mm -hmm. and you're shown on TV so much, you kind of have like a moral responsibility. Not everybody thinks that way. Not, I'm, not I'm everybody. saying how I yeah, think. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying yeah. you should have a moral responsibility. To, to the world that you are projecting mm -hmm. to, you know what I mean. People, and I think that's what he's kind of trying to say. Like instead of rapping about all these drugs and alcohol and bitches that are really not helping you or helping your fan base or helping the world, why don't talk about what's really going on in the world? More important things. Not about the people just laugh or just hey, listen. I want to start this rap thing to get money. And once by, I get money, I'm gonna get more money. Exactly. That's all. I and like about. he said here, by you rapping about those things that aren't healthy people, that's why kids are still stuck in the hood. Yeah, I see. I was going to, I was going to talk about right how like the the rappers put put portray a, a a lifestyle that's not really. I mean, listen, if rappers were going out of there and you know, telling kids to to invest mm -hmm. to this, it's not gonna sell. You know what I mean? To so, you know how to be financially secure, all that, it's not gonna sell. But but. But when you're rapping about certain things, right? You're not really helping your, your community to, to get, be more successful, raising your whole community up. Because mm -hmm. all you're doing is keeping them there by telling them to, to do drugs and, and, and you know, and not being, being able to teach them how to get successful at life like you did. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like the line that he said right here. You taught us how to act. If we, if we wanted to impress, now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. Exactly. So like some of them so not really don't really do all those things, but they're singing and rapping about, about it, it and, then, and teaching you to be this <laughs> and way. And then you're thinking they but, really do it. You go out and do it, and you get arrested, taken exactly. to jail. But they're rich. 
even if they do that thing they get in jail they're gonna find a way to make the bail money or find a way to exactly. get a good lawyer but you don't have all those all that all those options yeah so you guys do something dumb you go to jail that's it for you mm -hmm. all right let's continue Money and I'm broke, man. You taught us how to rap and you taught us how to dress and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them I inside don't the hood. Want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 no. Just a drug addict. I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 no. Just a drug addict on TV. Hey. Awesome. Yo, it's actually funny how how I didn't really heard yeah. about him till till now. Yeah. Cause and usually that's the kind of rappers I like. Listen, I'm not gonna lie. I listen to those other rappers too. Sometimes you wanna put a beat on it and just like jam to it, you know. Mm -hmm. I do that too. But the rappers I really like, you know, you put your headphones in and you just chill back and listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or the ones that you have like almost every single one of their albums. Exactly. Like those rappers, I look for, I look for them, but for some reason, I've never heard of him before. Mm -hmm. and it, you it's, know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. It's funny. Somebody mentioned in a comment that the, the reason why we never hear about him is because the media won't portray people of that course not. Like this. Of course not. And you guys... And it's funny because of the fact that he's on such high levels on the Billboard charts. See... The and people in the comments have been telling us that he's not really signed to, to any any rap label mm -hmm. or everything. He does anything, everything himself. I respect that because a lot of those labels are. Plus, I think for for what he does is the best option. Yeah. Because when you get like to the mainstream, those mainstream things, they're gonna want to want to for you to do certain things, right? Yeah. So you could sell like not money. Talk, talk about certain things. Yeah. Because you're gonna you know it's like they want you to to limit your yeah. your creativity to fit their creativity. That's gonna limit him. No, they want to limit the creativity to fit a certain image because of the fact that right now this image sells. Exactly, and, and why... they're thinking about the money aspect. They're not thinking about the reason why you started rapping or singing exactly. in, the, in the first place. Cause, cause... And I feel like that's another reason why mm -hmm. a lot of these rappers um, fall off because they forget why they started rapping mm -hmm. and singing in the first place like if you hear the person's first album versus their album now it's like totally two different people you're listening to because when, when you time. get into those labels you say listen man we're gonna make you much money as possible so if you try, try to stick to what you used to do it's not gonna happen mm -hmm. because the because the, the label sign you to make money mm -hmm. they're not gonna sign you you can do whatever you want yep. you know what i mean so i think he values his freedom yep and that's the best thing he can do yeah. If you can do everything yourself and monetize yourself, you should do it. Exactly. You go to a label, they're going to take some of your money in the first place. Mm -hmm. Plus, they're not going to allow you to do everything you, you want to do. Mm -hmm. So I think it's smart that he's, you know, yeah. he's all in the, independent. He has like a group of people that he, that he trusts trust, and like they his, work his with girlfriend. him. And they help um, design these videos in the way that he wants Yeah, his to girlfriend edited his videos. Mm -hmm. You guys have been telling us in the comments. That, that's, that's and amazing, she's bro. even doper because she does his videos and then she does her own. Uh, yes, yeah. So it's like she's multi talented. That's people you really want to keep in your circle. Yeah, get a close group of people that you trust that is, mm -hmm. that's talented and you can make it for man. I just I want to repeat the fact that um, for the person that recommended us to it, to introduce us mm -hmm. to him, thank you very much. Yeah, we we forgot who it was. Probably can go in the comments and, f and figure yeah, it we'll out probably who it was. Re -look it. But yeah, and by the way, in the comments, guys, we try to read all the comments. So if you want to comment something, go ahead. Mm -hmm. If you want to do other recommendations for other music videos, mm -hmm. we want to do other pe people we should react to. Mm -hmm. We're down. Just co comment in the comment section, and we'll eventually get to it. Yeah. But yeah, guys, this this guy is amazing, man. Yeah. And, and more people should listen to him, but like seriously, to, we, to actually learn some things. We gotta spread the think. word. So people can actually um, be more in tune with rappers like him. Exactly. Yeah. And hopefully because of that, more rappers that are in the same frame that they want to um, speak up will maybe sh show out more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 
So as always, leave us comments, um, like our videos, subscribe, tell, give us more videos you want us to discuss. As always, try to be respectful yeah. on our channel. Um, when, in the comment sections. Yeah, but we, we haven't gotten that much lately in the comments. No, section. we haven't. Most of it has been know. bad too. So, and thank you all for your support as yeah, always. Thanks for your support, guys. We really appreciate it. Alright, see you next time. Bye.